the day two. Now, for day two, we're going to look at different types of shapes. You notice you're going to have like little coefficients in front of thetas today. These make what we call roses. Very romantic for you guys. Now, so let's take a look at one. Now, the first thing it does is says to make a table, of course. Now, one thing we're going to do a little bit differently today, we're going to look at that coefficient. We are going to pick numbers divisible by 3 is what we're going to do. So, theta r, theta r. So I pick what's going to be divisible by 3. Well, of course, 0 is, but go around the circle. I can also use pi over 6. Ah, pi over 3. Pi over 2 may not be, but we can still use it, okay? 2 pi over 3. 5 pi over 6. Pi. And we're going to find out today we can actually stop at pi for this particular example. 7 pi over 6. 3 pi over 2. I'm still going to use the 3 pi over 2s. We'll find out why in a second. 5 pi over 3. And 11 pi over 6. And, oops, and one more. Ran out of room. Sorry about that. Theta r. 2 pi. So these are what we're going to pick. This is our table. And we're going to plug them in. So if I plug this in, 2 sine, well, 3 times 0 is 0. What's the sine of 0? Zero? 0. Very good. That's just 0. So I'm at 0. I'm facing, I'm facing 0 radians. I don't go anywhere. But plug in pi over 6. Watch what happens. 2 sine. This becomes pi over 2. Now the sine of pi over 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. So when I'm facing pi over 2, I mean, sorry, pi over 6, I'm going to face pi over 6, and I go out 2 units, 1, 2. Now, how do I graph it? Remember, we're going around a circle. We want to make a circle, ideally. But I'm starting at 0, so kind of like it spirals into that pi over 6 position. Plug in pi over 3. Well, let's plug that in. 2 sine pi over 3 times 3 is just pi. And again, what's the sine of pi? 0. So, when I'm facing pi over 3, here's pi over 3, it says to make my radius 0. Well, I'm here. I'm going to spiral back down to the 0. And if you notice, we have a petal of our rose. Color it red. Be romantic. Hey, baby, I brought you a flower. She loves me. Let's find out what she loves us. Plug into pi over 2. 2 sine 3 pi over 2. That's why we can still use pi over 2, because I know sine of 3 pi over 2. That's negative 1. So 2 times negative 1, negative 2. So I'm facing pi over 2, but I back it up. 2, 1, 2. And I remember, I was at 0, and now, whoa. I'm at 0, but now I'm going to go to negative 2 right there. Very good. Plug in 2 pi over 3. 2 sine 2 pi over 3 just becomes 2 pi, which again is 0. So at 2 pi over 3, here I am. I'm facing 2 pi over 3, but I'm back to 0. So i got to spiral back in. 2 flower, 2 petals so far. Keep it going. 5 pi over 6, 2 sine. This becomes 5 pi over 2. Now let's take a look at what that equals. 1 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2. Sine of 5 pi over 2 is the same as pi over 2, which we already know is positive 2. So when I'm facing... So I'm facing 5 pi over 6, and I go out 2 units. 1, 2. I'm at 0, I go out 2 units. I keep breaking my lid. Go out 2 units, like so. Plug in pi. 2 sine of 3 pi. Again, notice the pattern. 0, pi is 0, 2 pi is 0, 3 pi is probably 0 as well. I go back to 0. Now what you're going to notice is we're going to stop here. Once you get a complete graph, you can stop. Whoops. Once you get a complete graph, stop. There we go. We have three petals to our flower, our rose. Let's count them up. One, two, three. She loves me. She loves me not. Uh... She loves me. All right, let's take a look at number two. two. Cosine. We're going to pick the ones that are divisible by two this time. So uh, theta r, theta r. So I'm going to start with zero. Oops, let me graph, erase this. Zero. 
The next one, I'm not going to worry about pi over 6, but pi over 4 is nicer. We'll see why we choose pi over 4. Pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, pi, uh, 5 pi over 4, 3 pi over 2, and I'm going to pick 7 pi over 4 and 2 pi. So if I pick 0, I could pick 4 cosine of 0. That's just cosine of 0 is 1, so that gives me 4. So at 0, I'm going out 4 units. Pick pi over 4. You'll see why I pick pi over 4. I get 4 cosine. This becomes pi over 2. Well, what's the cosine of pi over 2? 0. So at pi over 4, here's pi over 4, I go to 0. And I'm going to sweep around the arc back to 0. Plug in pi over 2. Now, I could pick pi over 6, but sometimes cosine of pi over 6 or pi over 3 don't work out nice, so I'm not going to use those. I'm going to give me the ones that's going to give me a whole numbers only. Pi over 2, 4, cosine of pi. Now, cosine of pi is negative 1. So this becomes negative 4. So we have pi over 2, I go back 4. I'm facing pi over 4, but I go backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4. Like so. Plug in 3 pi over 4. 4 cosine, whoops, that's awful to read. 4 cosine 3 pi over 2. And again, cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0. So as I'm facing 3 pi over 4, I'm back at 0. So I have to sweep it around back to 0. Let's plug in pi. 4 cosine 2 pi, which is just Cosine 2 pi is positive 1. Be careful. So we get positive 4. So when I'm facing pi, it tells me to go out 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And there we go. Plug in 5 pi over 4. We get 4 cosine 5 pi over 2. And if you notice, pi over 2s always give us 0. So when I'm facing 5 pi over 4, we're back to 0. Keep going. This becomes 4 cosine 3 pi, if I plug it in. Now, the cosine of 3 pi is negative 1, so I get negative. Notice the pattern. 4, negative 4, positive 4, negative 4. So when I'm facing 3 pi over 2, it tells me to go backwards 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Back it up. And I'm going to loop it around. Plug in 7 pi over 4. 4 cosine 7 pi over 2. Again, this is 7 pi over 2, 0. Recognize the patterns. So when I'm facing 7 pi over 4, we go backward. Whoops, there's 7 pi over 4 over here. Awful. That was a 5 pi over 4. I had that in the wrong spot. All right. Plug in the 2 pi. 4 cosine 4 pi. Well, that's going around twice around the circle. 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi. So I'm facing 2 pi. And I, and I go to, well, cosine of 4 pi is 1. So we get 4. So we're going to finish our petal. And we get our rows. Now notice, if it's odd, you get the number of petals. But if it's even, the number of petals will always double. So um, let's try number 3. I'll set number 3 up here for you. And I want you guys to try this one on your own. This time we want one divisible by 4s. Theta r. Theta r. So my zero, which could be another one? Ah, pi over 4, pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, pi, 3 pi over 4. What's the next one? Uh, oh, that should be 5 pi over 4, no wonder. 3 pi over 2, 7 pi over 4, and 2 pi. So try this one. You should get 8 petals. This one's actually kind of a tough one right here. So try this one, and we'll take a look at that one tomorrow in class. Okay, but in the meantime, go on to part 2 right now.